Okay. Hi guys. This is this is table for three. This is uh, just a group of friends going to make a podcast about us playing D and D and putting it out there, seeing if anyone wants to listen. Gunch. That's us. <laughs> All right, friends. These are my players. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey. Okay, so I'm Rory. I will be your resident dungeon master for the afternoon, and I'm gonna go around the circle, get everyone to introduce their characters and themselves. So, so no one in particular, Which Chris. We'll clockwise. You. you going clockwise? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Chris. I'm gonna be playing uh, a halfling ranger uh, called Gruffid. Uh, he's a rough and tumble little man uh, who loves to be out on the road with his his traveling companions. Uh, and a very a certain special companion of his, I believe you did not mention uh, the little little fuzzy boy you have um, with you. It's not, not a little, dog. Not little. It's not a dog. It's my giant wolf spider. Oh, Huxley. Ooh, yeah. Here's in the audience. Ooh, crowd pleaser. Uh, and I love. Them. Chris, did you name Huxley? Or yeah, I named. What the fuck? What do you mean? Did I Where? name Huxley? Yeah, do you like no, no, okay, co- computer? Just... Name my spider for me. <laughs> no, it's just like because you what? said because rangers, it's not like it, it's not like a magical bond. Like you just you just found him in the woods and started hanging no, out. It, so it's, I don't know. It like, is a, it's not you like, had a name tag on. It's, it's not like, like magical bond as like a wizard, where it's like you brought forth this imp from beyond the realm. But like you have a bond between ranger and and beast. Asking. It's but, specifically described as mystic. And so that's like mm, divine magic. That's not arcane magic. That's the more mysticism or, and yeah. holy magic kind of thing. Okay, okay. Because that's what rangers are about. They're they're holy magic, like druids. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. so... I thought, ling- it, I thought it was like edgy arrow boys. Well, Legolas. <laughs> that's, the Ural hat, that's what you can be, but still, they all get magic at some point. Moving on. Now we have Shaughnessy. You're next. Hey, I'm Shaughnessy, and I am playing a half-elf fighter named... Harry and um pretty basic I guess I mean I have like a cool backstory stuff but like I kind of want to like wait for that to just like bubble into the we'll, story uh, we'll get to it guys we'll get to it look forward listeners that's a story for another day um deepest lore hell yeah uh no, I'm sorry, I don't I, know what to talk about are you just like what's your comp- do you have to like a combat stance are you a protector what's your, what are you about or just Ooh. what do you use like what does parry do well Which... I have a short sword and a long bow and the long bow is kind of like part of my backstory like me and my dad made it together when I was little and it's cute okay we'll get to it I'm also no, like me. kind of middle aged I'm like kind of getting yeah. on being like in my yeah. 40s for a half elf okay yeah so is Groovid like an old boy? He's like 60s or something? I, I remember he wasn't a young man. I haven't written... Maybe I didn't write it down anywhere. So I believe a halfling lives um, for like 200 years? 200 years. 200 years. Right. So I was thinking Grufford would be like anywhere from like 120 to like 130, which is like <laughs> past the prime. It's sort of funny because like all the other races that live like really long times are usually like mystically based. Like dwarves were like fucking yeah. made out of rock by their god Torag. Elves are like parched. They're still like bred. They're bred from fairies, so that's why they have their really, really long lives. Half of them are just like these happy pie people who live in the <laughs> country, and people. they live to be like two hundred. They're so good. Anyways, so those are the first two, and our final member, Jess. Uh, so I'm Jess, and I will be playing a tiefling bard named Art. He's a uh, he's kind of like your. He, he's my pretty. He's he's just you know your stereotypical bard. He likes wine, and women, and. And then, you know, playing music. Getting okay. crunk and getting fucked. <laughs> Pretty much. He's, okay. um, yeah, he's a, you know, he's a happy look, a happy-go-lucky guy. He likes to keep things, uh, keep things entertaining. Okay. So. I play the violin. Her name is Caroline. Ooh. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Caroline. ba ba da Okay, so we don't have a name. Do we have a name for this motley crew yet, or was that to be determined by your later adventures? The, it'll it'll bubble up. I mean, yeah. So boy, yeah. I have a suggestion. Let, let's set the let's set the little backstory for our group right now. So tell me tell me how you guys got together as a as a merc group or squad. What are you guys? What are you to each other? Well, I know that Christopher and I, uh-huh. uh Gruffin and I, Gruffin and Art have um some some history. A similar dislike of authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we not going there? Okay, so the, the interpretation that I was using 
was that I was at some point, as a bounty hunter was wont to do, uh, is hired to kill you. Um, and either you charmed me or paid me off. And I was like, you know what? Maybe the Baron was a bad guy. And fuck them. Whoever, whoever this figure was. So I guess you like bonded over drinks after that? Yeah. And just yeah. like decided two, two heads are better than one? Just a couple of rebels on the road. Um, and then I guess... So uh, and then when Perry emerged <laughs> from her isolation in the woods, right? Literally, and, basically, I, mean, I just kind of like waddled down to the town. You guys were at the tavern, and I was just like, kind of by myself. And then Arif would be like, hey, yo, want me to play you a song? And I was like, hell yeah, I haven't heard music in probably literally looks at my watch four years. <laughs> and then we just end up hanging out, and I tag along with you guys. Okay. So, um, that's, what, that's before anything we ran. And, uh, are, we lost our pilot. That's my fault. I lost the first bit of recording. But basically, one of Gudo's Griffin's... I'm going to mix up It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I'm just going to say yeah. whichever. One of Griffin's old contacts, like one of a dude he just got jobs from very often, just a reliable old friend, old Ben. Old Ben. Gave him a job to go visit this wizard's manor and like bring him, his, bring him the journal. And his head, optional. Extra money for the head of the wizard. And so they went there. They, uh... They just explored it. They found the dude's thing. They uh, fought Yogi the Bear. Fought Yogi the Bear, <laughs> a skinned bear reanimated by magic. Um, I found my son. All right. Are we keeping Bean Boy with us? We are definitely okay. keeping Bean Boy. I com- accompanying this Motley Three is a small. Would you describe it as like a frog? It's What's like a it? frog bat dragon. Yeah, it's kind of a scaly frog faced bat thing, which is a homunculus to a wizard. You can look it up. Yeah, it's. Google images it. D&D 5 uh, homunculus. Basically, they kidnapped this creature and... <laughs> we bribed him? Eventually bribed and befriended and named it Bean Boy. <laughs> yeah. So... I also stole a bag of rice from that wizard fuck's house. Keep it on the list. <laughs> well, they fought a demon and basically uh, that was where we left off. So... Um, is any of the, like... Stuff we found at the basement plot relevant? Should we talk about that? Well, we'll see, I guess. This is the adventure now. Okay, because I, I also have, like, an etching of right. some unreadable text. Oh, yeah, yeah we, so. they, they found some sort of pen that kept a demon they had to defeat, and Chris wrote down some weird-ass abyssal carving on the who wall knows? above it. Who knows what it says? Not me. Okay. So, um... Anyways, you went, you went back to where... The this group, but you guys, um, after your job, you went back to the town where you guys were supposed to meet Old Ben to, for the for the pickup and the payment, right? But yeah. Old Ben didn't show. Oh. Uh-oh. But but someone else showed up, knowing him, knowing his name, said he was a representative. Said Old Ben was a little tied up at the moment with some important stuff. Oh man. So ben. he t- he took oh. the journal. Okay. Withheld payment, which you guys, I assume, were not happy about, but promised you something much better once you finished the rest of the job that had been unspoken. He gave you directions, like, I don't know, not coordinates, but this isn't that advanced. <laughs> uh, he gave you directions into the northern forest of this country. Okay. Said so deep in there, there's a, there's, a, there's a cave hidden in a hillside. In there... You'll find, you gotta find something for him. He, he said you know it when you see it. And uh, if you bring that back, you won't have to worry about money for the rest of your lives. This is the biggest, this is a big score, he said. Ooh. Hmm. So no, I don't like him. I don't like him. Yeah, Grufford maybe. He's, I don't like him. You're always a gruff guy, so I assume you were just like, always, ah, I don't like this. The other two were like, oh, fuck you, old man. I don't, and, I don't like the withhold of payment. I don't like how vague you're being. However, the sentence never have to work again in your life. Very tempting. Yeah, you're adventurers. Adventurers do many, many things in the pursuit of greed and or magical artifacts. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, I'm kind of curious, like, you'll know when you see it, like, what is it? Like, now I'm just kind of like, ooh. Yeah, it's cool. also the intrigue, you know? Like, ooh, what the hell? So I got shivers down my spine. Let's hey. see what this is. Ooh, adventure. All right, let's get on the road. I guess or so. is, uh, actually... I mean, you're, you're already on the road. Like, oh. you've, you've been hiking through this woods for, like, this is cold, cramped, dark forest for, like, a couple days now. And you're, you're getting very close to, uh, to this area, to the area, right? So we'll pick up right now. You're... Alright, you're in, like, your hiking formation, whoever's in the front. Naturally, moi, the survivors. Alright, yes, you're a ranger. You know the woods, like the... Well, are you a woodland ranger? Oh, you are. 
aren't you? It's implied. They actually... Oh, um, I'm using the the revised Ranger right, yeah. rules. Just in case we got any... If people not find any discrepancies in the rules we're using, we're using the revised version that the Wizards of the Coast put out online. Because Rangers suck. They suck. <laughs> they did suck. <laughs> they did. Well, they've made some fixes, and they're pretty good now. So, yeah, they, but they did suck. On that note, also, we, we are a bit experienced. We play... We've played Pathfinder. We've played... 4E, 3.5, 5E, World we, play, Darkness. we play World Darkness, and we may in the future, once this game is over, who knows, we just played a, we, I'm sh we've just played a bunch of stuff, but we're still nowhere near really good, and we're not <laughs> going to be following rules to the letter, so heads up, if that's not your dealio, later, but... We're not going to starve to death. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't, I'm not going to ask you guys, uh, did you guys remember to pick up all your arrows? Or, like, did you buy enough rations? Unless, like, you're in a desert where it's obviously going to matter. I eat sand. <laughs> <laughs> Handfuls and of okay. sand. But, yeah, so, let's just get back starting the game soon now. So, you guys are hiking through the woods right now. Yeah. Do you, uh, My... It's about m m getting into the evening, a little bit past, I guess you guys stopped for a quick, a light, light lunch or, like, light dinner. Yeah, mm -hmm. something. It might be like 7.30 at night I now. I assume peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mmm. <laughs> PB and J, did, uh, did you pack those before you left? Yeah. Anachronistically delicious. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so what are you, are you just gonna, I mean, I'm just leaving you off here. So, okay. Alright, gonna... so, we're just gonna... Follow the directions. Yeah, um, I can travel, uh, stealthily a little bit ahead if it's just me and Huxley. Okay. So I want to, I want to like lead a little bit. Presumably right. you guys know the path? Like how, were the directions specific enough that like these nerds could follow them? Um, <laughs> I mean, he didn't, he didn't know where it was. It's a, it was a pretty oh. s mysterious, but like it's a, it should be in the heart of the forest kind of thing. Okay. Well, the... is, there, is there a determinate path? Like, is oh there a... no, There's, okay. this is not a beaten path. There's no beaten path in this forest. You're just like, cucking it through, yeah. I'm what? not going to leave you guys alone in the dark woods then. <laughs> okay. That seems like a bad I mean, idea. I mean, I have like all my mapping stuff. When I've had, when I've had a map of the general wood in the area, so he'd be like, oh yeah, it's like somewhere in these coordinates-ish, I guess. I mean, I guess if you guys, you guys would probably have a map as adventurers, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but like, still, it's like you just need to know how, like, approximately how deep in, or like how far into the forest you'd be. I don't know if you could just see that and be like, yeah, it should be right here. Balls deep in this. You probably, plus, you wouldn't have very many forest. landmarks to go off of in, in this thick forest too. There's not very many. Okay. For itself, but I mean. So I guess we just keep going until sh yeah. shit happens. There's not yeah. much we can do. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say for clarification, the cartography tools are like. The tools for making a map. Okay. I mean, like, I imagine yeah, they're not, also they're not maps map. itself. Yeah. Perry is a, is a cartographer. I mean, I think it's important to say that you're ex-military, too. It's her That's part. where this stuff comes yeah. from. Yeah. Partially yes. from her... Secret from her, background. That's not... I mean, what? Is that secret background? Secret background. I guess it's out now, but it's everyone's oh, almost... Whatever. I just pulled that out of the camera. Okay. Um, okay, out. so we're... What are you guys doing? So we've just stayed for, we've just stopped for, and how dark is it? Like, are we getting it's to get, the point where we want to stop for the night? Or? Oh, we will soon, maybe like an hour. All right, yeah. well then let's let's keep, keep hiking. Keep pushing through, I think. Um, okay, I'm tight, gonna... tight formation. Okay, so. <laughs> I have a very squishy back, so I vote being in the middle. Okay, <laughs> I'll go in the back, then you can go in the front, like a little tiny bit ahead, maybe like 10 yeah. to 2 feet ahead. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. Excuse me. On. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> so um, you're you're just uh you're just hiking along there, and then um out of a tree like a couple feet in front of you, just a a humanoid like a medium sized bundle of cloth and feathers just drops straight from the canopy with a heavy just like bam thud into the dirt in front of you guys, um, and both. just like sits there collapsed on in the dirt. Both my swords are fucking out. I'm. Is it? Is it breathing? Um. It's um. Whatever this is, it's like it quickly gathers. Like it quickly gathers itself, and it like scrabbles up like back on its hands and feet, and like hold, holds up its hands defensively. And um, from under its hood, you hear the sound. What sounds like the crying of a baby. I hate this. I can I kill it right now? No, I think I know what it is. Um. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, like, have my hands kind of, like, I'm gonna have my hands kind of, you know, not next to my weapons, not, uh, very, very non-threatening. Um, I have an arrow cocked. <laughs> okay. Just 
Okay, I, I mean, I don't blame you. This thing crit failed to sneak. <laughs> <laughs> First roll of the game, everybody. That's mm. a one. Mm. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, like, what do you... What, what is that it? Uh, I mean, if no one's moving and no one's attacking, it just kind of... I'll wait. It just calms down. No more babies squealing or crying. Just like... Can we see its face? Or is it it's totally... Got a, it's got a hood on, but you see a little bit of a beak sticking out. What? Long black That's beak. That's why the baby crying, can, it can mimic. Ooh. Oh. It's a, it's a, they're not called Tengus. No, not, not in DD. Do you know okay. the name? I but mean, you guys won't, I, I'm not going to tell you because like that's meta game. I, I know so what it if, is. if you now, don't know it now. But yeah. I'm still going to fucking come over and put my swords right at that boy's throat. Oh, okay. So, well, they're going to, it's just like hands like right next to its head, like leaning back just a little bit, just like making squeaking sounds. Just, just like trying to like stop, stop, stop. Just like putting its hands up more. Just like yeah, saying, I can't, doesn't I can't want to. Ask do it. I can't ask it what it's doing here. It can't talk. It, we don't know that. It can mimic. It can't um, form sentences on its own. Trying to, it can only like it can repeat sentences back from that someone else said. It cannot form its own sentences. Okay, so I'm gonna ask it. Just you know, shot in the dark. I'm gonna ask it what it's doing here. Um. Um. So, uh, it, it, um, looks around for a second, and it grabs a stick off the ground, and, like, begins, like, clearing a little bit of patch of, like, fallen leaves off the ground until it gets down to the dirt and starts drawing, right? Okay. Ooh, so it draws, like, a little, little hill and a big circle in the middle of the hill. And it points a little, like, feathery finger at it. It's a treasure hunter, I think. I think it wants to go to the same place that we're going. Huh. Mm. And, uh, and then it, uh, it holds up, it holds up, a, like, a hand... Hand. And it draws, it draws three figures. It draws one stick figure with a little triangle beak, points at itself. Okay. Ooh. And it draws two more. It draws a very short one with pointy little ears. <laughs> and it draws a tall, just like, basic sick figure. And then it connects the cave and the other two figures with a line. So... The three two, of them... Two traveling companions. We're going... To, to where we're going. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like where we want to be going. It sounds like a point of intrigue. And yeah. Yeah. But... And a couple of seconds later, it erases its friends. Oh. Right. Okay. So. They're... And it points again at the cave. Yeah. And like, shrugs. Oh, okay, lost. so they they went in and didn't come out. Oh man. Okay. Um. I can understand. That. Do you have a name? Um. It like uh holds its hands like bunched up next to its chin and just like. Makes a s mouse squeaking sound. Ooh, some mouth sounds. No mouse, like a, a squeaking oh, mouse. Oh, mouse. Mouse sounds. Like like a. Eek. I don't know how mouse I sound. <laughs> okay, so mousey. We're... No, it like. No, oh, this is just a raised fuck. Uh... <laughs> Squeaks. It makes another mouse squeak. Squeaks. Yeah, I like snapped its. Okay, it squeaks. It's like close enough, kind of like <laughs> approximate symbol, like. Thing with its hands, you know when you rock your hand back and forth, like kinda. Okay, I'm does, just gonna. So. I'm gonna. Take it, just, my... it nods. It's like we're, we're gonna... close. It's like kind of a close enough. We're gonna call you Squeak. Yeah, it says thumbs up. Squeak. Squeak is her name. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take my arrow. I'm gonna be like, all right, Squeak, and I just kind of like put my thing back, and I'm like, right. so you're it, cool though. It, it takes off its its hood and like, it, it nods. It makes like a ding, so <laughs> like, like a bell. Thumb, thumbs up. That's cute. Okay, Alright, and so, so it, it uh, gestures for you to follow. Just like, come with me. Alright. Okay. Uh, no, swords are drawn. Okay. okay really? So, swords are drawn, fucking yeah. Man, yeah. we're just like, Art and I are so friendly. We're like, okay, yay, friends! And you're just uh, like, fuck it, I This hate. is a fucking yeah. doggy does, dog. This hot throw does, world. Does, does, like, Huxley like this this bird thing? What is Huxley about? Huxley yeah. is on remember, my side. You gotta remember to remember what Huxley thinks and what's Huxley <laughs> doing. Huxley is on my side. Huxley does future, not sure, like Future this. note. We'll figure out character voices or not later on. Yeah. But for now, let's just go with it. If you guys, if you guys have, like, if, you, if inspiration strikes you, if you feel something in your heart deep within, <laughs> the heart of the cards, just let it out. You know? if, if art is speaking to you from beyond this realm, just let his voice out. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it leads you to, like, a, just like a little, it's like a really small hill, really. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, it's like, a, but there's like a, just like a little, almost just bigger than a doorway-shaped entryway that goes, that looks like it's going down into the earth. 
Okay. It's, a, it... it's like a, in a clearing too. I forgot to mention that. You're, it's in a, like a really roundish clearing. This this all looks fairly weird. Doesn't look mm. like an like no, like the start. No, the clearing is perfectly circular, and it's it's like almost too small to be a natural hill. Might have mm. been weirdly made. Mm. You don't really know. Uh, so I have a little bit of history with uh, druidic stuff. Is this anything like? Would this remind me of anything um, I see, like druidic traditions? A burial this mound. might be like it's not like a a burial mound is close to what it looks like. Yeah, mm. okay. something, something very old like that. Something okay. that like they made a while ago, and it's just been like overtaken by the earth around it. I'm mm. just gonna like go like I'm gonna like get kind of close to it, and then like turn around and squeaks and be like, "Is this where your friends came?" Um, she nods. She nods vigorously, and uh, yeah, points, and uh, uh, and she. She points down at the hole and then says with a weird voice, doesn't sound like what a bird would look, vo voice would look like, and she says, okay, Squeaks, you stay guard out here, we'll be two hours tops. Got it? Hmm. Ooh. So that's, that's big boy. Okay. Yeah. So two hours, how long has it been? Um. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like go in my bag really quick and take out my mapping tools and be like, like take off like a. Like a big square piece of paper, and I don't know, like your pen, uh, like one of my pens, and be like, "This is a gift. Here you go." Um. Okay. She, she looks very excited. She uh she grabs it and takes the pencil and uh. Mm, writes down two days. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not good at all. That's a little longer than two hours. Okay. Well. Hmm. I I think our only course of action is to enter the hole. Cautiously. Cautiously. Enter the hole cautiously. Cautiously enter the All hole. Right. Okay, so you're going to go in. Um, when you, you're just going to go in. Uh, so, uh... What is our order? Squeak pulls out a little hand crossbow. Like a little... Oh. Nice. So Squeak's like, got a gun? <laughs> 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 but yeah, so she's armed herself because she thinks you guys are going to go into it. She's going to follow. So, so do you guys uh, have dark vision? Anyone here? Uh, yes. I'm half elf, so I'm pretty sure I do. Me uh, and Shaughnessy have 60 feet. You're fucked. Yeah, this boy has none. Um, I got... So is G gonna light okay, a wait, torch? Wait. Really? I have the Dungeoneers pack, so I have like everything I should need for here. So I have like torches, tinderbox, yeah. rope and shit. I mean, we but definitely, I we definitely have. You guys will have the essential. But we were just wondering if any of us needed it at all. Yeah, does like Squeak I need a torch. Appreciate? We don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, Squeak does not. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Right. Well, I have to light a torch anyhow. So yeah. So whatever. We got some light. Strike one off from what? Okay, so... So are you going in front? I, again, me? with my squish squishiness, will well, hang a little back. I think maybe you, Perry, should yes. be in front. Yeah. Okay. Um, Get that I, As a there. creature of higher AC. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. So whatever you guys do, Squeak's gonna just tail behind. Alright, yeah, that's fair. All She's right. got a gun. She's, Squeak's got a gun. <laughs> So I'll, I'll follow up behind Perry, and our, you can come behind, in front of Squeak. Well, these are Squeak's friends. Like, Squeak, do you want to be up here, or you oh. want, are you comfortable hanging behind? Squeak, I mean, Squeak reaches out for the torch then. Like, yeah, she needs light. She needs light if she's going to lead. I think, I think if you have the highest AC, Squeak is probably a, a ranger or something. Well, we don't know that. We have I, no idea. I, I mean, she's got a crossbow. Like, I, don't, I just don't know if, if she's the best one to lead. They're her friends, though. She never went in. I'll pass. Okay. I'll pass. Okay. Squeak a separate torch. All right. So Squeak will Squeak will take the four then, hold okay. up a torch and lead you guys so down farther. Two okay. torches out of ten. It's a little bit of a so it's a little um, not very long of a tunnel of like dirt around you mm -hmm. until it's like it does, it opens up into a little natural cavern area, maybe like twenty feet long. Patches like ten feet wide maybe. Hmm. There's like. It's a pretty, it's a little bit featureless as far as you can tell. What are your passive perceptions? 14. 12. 13. Okay, so you're all average. So, um, you see a couple of, like, dark shapes around, like, leaning up against the walls and stuff. There's a boulder at the far end with a flickering lantern, like, it's been burning for a while, but it's going out a little bit. Mm. Okay. There's, like, and then there's, at the end, there's, like, a little bit of a, a, a wall to scale, and there's, like, a ledge up there, maybe oh. 10 feet up, with a boulder sitting on it, like, Kind of blocking the path there. Hmm. That doesn't look really natural. No, like, this I'm... definitely, this definitely was dug out. Like. Yeah, I mean, well, especially the boulder blocking the path above is what I mean. How big is the boulder? Could like, 
Could the four of us elbow grease it out of the way, or is it like a boulder? It's a pretty big boulder, like almost as tall as, say, Art's not very tall, is he? Art's like, Art's like, Art's like all, yeah, Art, Art's like, uh, what about Perry? Uh, I'm like 5'3". Yeah, so it'd be about yeah. your height. Ha. Uh, mm, five foot three boulder. That's, that's not a, that's not a light That's boulder. a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm gonna approach the boulder with the lantern on. So you, you have a torch, right? So when I you get when you get right up there, you see that there is a corpse leaning up. One, there's a corpse leaning up against it. And as you go through, there's like a, two more corpses about halfway down. Two uh, fresh corpses are like skeletons. Other. They're a little bit wry. They're blue, blue, yeah. blue around the gills. Then they're not her friends. Those aren't like two day old. Okay, yeah. So you're just gonna they're, they're, you're at the lantern. Yeah, I'm I'm at the lantern. So the corpse there at the lantern is also Roddy. Yeah, it's a little um, bit Roddy. What are what are they? Um, they look human. Human corpses. Well, they um, might have been. Um, hmm. Hmm. What uh, do they have anything on them aside from the usual treasure or the usual dungeon uh, ring gear? Is anything on the on the, the corpses? Yeah. Like, are you searching them or are you just like giving it a little well, praise? I'll search the pockets. Um, okay, when you touch its leg, its a hand shoots out and grabs onto your wrist, and oh, its no. jaw just kind of like goes slack and it stares at you with a dead look in its eyes. That is a zombie. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And as soon as that happens, the bowler crashes down from the height and rolls towards you guys. Ah! I'm gonna make, need a deck save for you two, and oh, I'll make God. one for Squeak. Oh no. Okay, let's see. That is a 16. All right, squeak, squeak cleared. You cleared. I got a 15. Yeah, all right. You all clear. So you all... Six flips. <laughs> dash out, des- of the, out of the way bunch. of it. It, like, slams against the back wall, making a very loud noise and knocking a few rocks loose. Ooh. And, uh... What comes out of the hole behind it? Um, up there is a skeleton who has knocked an arrow in the time that they took the, the barrel to... The, not the barrel... That Donkey Kong <laughs> to get the boulder to reach the end. It's just and a skeleton. the other two corpses have also shambled to their feet. So I'm gonna need you guys to make initiative. Initiative. Rolls. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Thirteen. Nineteen. Damn. <laughs> I got a sixteen. All right. Hold on. Let me do these. So what did you guys get, Chris? Sixteen. Sixteen. Fancy. Oh, that was a thirteen. Thirteen. Jeff? 19. 19. Thanks for okay. what character names were. Alright, alright, no, but like, you made the roll, Art didn't make the roll. You, Art's gonna do the stuff, you made, you roll the dice. Okay, bro? Okay, bro? Alright, so, first up, if I could just find my, what's my piece here? There it is. I need the stats. So, first up is Art. Art is going to... So, uh, first of all, Art is going to cast a... Mm. Well, by the you way, um, Griff- Griffith, um, that, that zombie is currently grappling you. You started, you started this battle in a grapple because it's caught hold of you. Okay. okay. So, seeing, seeing Griffith being, uh, grappled, I'm going to cast- or I'm going to use my, um, my bardic inspiration on him, and I will- Da, 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 da. All right. So explain what that does. Bardic so, inspiration. Bardic inspiration is a uh, a bonus d6. So to attack an ability, an attack and ability score or a saving throw. So basically, I just gave him a d6, and he gets to roll it. He can choose when to roll it. No. Nice. Yeah. So he just gets a bonus to whatever he can, whenever he wants to. So even if you roll, like, say he has to roll a d10 to do something, he can add the d6. Yeah. To the result. Okay. Cool. Right. Okay, so cool. is that all you're doing? Oh, is that all Art's doing? I, can do. I think that's an action. Is that's that an action? action? No, it's, it's a bonus action, isn't it? It's a bonus oh, action. Oh, it is a bonus action. <gasps> okay, oh, so shit. I'm... shit. Oh, my God. So I'm also going to... I'm also going to cast Crown of Madness on one of the zombies. Ooh. Does Crown of Madness require an intelligence thing? Um, does it have to be like I think a... it's charisma because it dominates your personality. No, yeah. but like, does it work on something that doesn't have a, like a. Can you crown of madness a bear or something? Yeah. Because the yeah. zombie's on the same level. 
<laughs> I think you can. Yeah. Because it's not based on the brain, it's based on, like, manipulative madness. Okay, so Crown of Madness, it, like, physically makes this twisted iron crown appear on its head, right? Yeah, so, so and what twisted, else does it do? This twisted crown of thorn appears on the head, and so basically, you have to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm sure the zombie is very wise. Oh, it's wisdom. It's wisdom. Oh. Hmm. So, it has to, before moving on any of its turns, it must make a melee attack towards a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. So I'm going to choose his zombie friend, one of his zombie friends. If he fails. If he, so if he fails the wisdom save. It's, yeah, so it's only one save and he has to obey it, or does he make continuous saves? It should say that he repeats it every turn, maybe, or something? No, it just says, it just says the charm, so he's charmed for the duration, and the duration is an hour. Oh, wow. That's, that's what it's... Holy fuck. That's a powerful spell. That's... It's, what? I mean, it's a... It's a second level? It's second level. Yeah, yeah. we're level three, by the way. I forgot to mention that. We're not second yeah. level ones. Right. That's when, three is when the characters get fleshed out into their own kind of theme and stuff, yeah. so that's when we like to go. Being babies, we've learned. The hard way is kind of lame. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so that's, so you'd, uh... Make a wisdom saving throw. Maybe. How wise is this zombie? <laughs> Maybe, who knows. Actually, out of the three intelligent, like, mind-based stats, that's the best. <laughs> Still bad. Um, the spell save DC is 13, I assume? Uh, the spell save DC is 14. Oh, Ooh. nice, you got an 18 to your spell casting. Oh, anyways... So, it didn't make it. Ha-ha. So, this uh, the zombie, this crown of thorns twists around its skull, and it just lets go of you. And it's just like, wow, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Like, You're fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was my mistake. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it can't move now, but uh, it's, 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 it's made peace with Griffin. <laughs> <It's made peace. laughs> well, I mean, what the fuck am I going to do with this dice now? I mean, do whatever you want. Yeah, yes. be inspired. Can I use that for damage? Did you yeah, say? you can. Uh, you totally no, can. attack an attack and ability or saving throw. Oh, you can't okay. add to damage. You do a lot of damage. I mean, if you go into the combat, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the combat bar. You can add your yeah. your, your inspiration to damage. Ooh. But um, anyway, so after mind. Jess, I assume that's your turn. That's your action, right? Do you yeah. want to move it on? I'm, uh, no, I'm just gonna chill right here. Okay, spellcasters in the back, yo, Chris. Okay, um, so uh, Huxley okay. also takes initiative on my turn. All right. So, yeah. I do. The first thing I want to do is, uh, so Huxley has 40 feet to break up between climbing and walking. Wow. Yeah, so can Huxley make it up to the skeleton atop the... Cliff? Um, so it's 20 feet of walking, 10 feet... Oh, it can make it. It can make it. Can it can make it? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have Huxley, uh, scuttle on up there, and... Can Huxley have tiny tap shoes? Uh, I will invest in that. And once you once you start making the moolah for adventure and getting some custom Jordans. <laughs> oh my god. You have Tim's <laughs> eight tiny Jordans. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to have it grapple the skeleton. Ooh. It has the ability to do that? Oh, right, it's a spider. I mean, it has web. Also, any any creature can grapple. So <laughs> long as it has Presumably. arms. I imagine a worm can't grapple. No, it can wrap itself around yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I mean, so long as it can make a melee attack, it's presumed that it can oh, grapple. Yeah. yeah, okay. I guess we can just bite it and hold on. Um, yeah. So I, uh, this is contested my athletics versus your choice of athletics or acrobatics. This is the skeleton? Yeah. Athletics or acrobatics? Does it have any skills? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not going to have a hard time with this one, actually. A skeleton mm. has no skills. So I'm just going to roll a... St- it'll be a strength-based one, though, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. What'd you get? I got a two. Um, oh. Yeah, this thing got eleven. So a uh, little bit, a little bit of tugging and tugging and pulling in between the two, but the skeleton wrenches itself free from the Huxley's uh, grasp. So get fucked, skeleton. Also, really quick, where are you? I need at some point. I need Bean Boy's stats. He's kind of mine now. Oh fuck! Right. Um, I mean, he's not. I'm, a... I'm not gonna use him now, but I eventually probably want to use him for small things. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll I'll keep his stats. Okay, he's not in your control, right? No, but like. I can be like, Bean Boy, do this. And yeah, then but still, we'll it's up to me more. whether or not he says, nah, Bean Boy's good out here. <laughs> <laughs> more beef jerky. With his eyes. He can't speak. <laughs> um, so, that's, that all fucks in your turn. You're, it's it's, it's good. It's still, still my turn. Uh, so, with my arm freed, I'm gonna uh, drop that torch and grab my other short sword and just attack. On the ground? Just on the ground. It's fire, sure, it's dirt. It's fine. It's not gonna... I mean, um, 
the bird still has squawk still has yeah the torch we're not in bad shape okay squeak squeak, squeak. yes yeah uh and i'm gonna draw my other short sword and attack uh, the nearest non-crown zombie <laughs> yeah but don't take him out all He's right on so our you're side. gonna yeah so you run up 10 feet back towards your friends and you attack one of your zombies with what with both of my short swords. All right. My action Double attack? Action. Yeah. So you're not training that, right? So you only add damage to the first. You have dual weapon? Dual I, weapon? Took, I took two weapon fighting as my oh, style. Oh, okay. So you're good then. Um, so here's the first attack is going to be a 14. Hit. Okay. Second attack is going to be a 13. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit. Nice. Okay. Watch Thank God for uh, weak-ass zombies. Yeah, because we so, probably shouldn't have burned a second level spell in this guy. Uh... 10, okay, so 17 damage. Um, okay, tell me how you kill it. What do you do to it? Ah, fucking blessed. Um, I'm gonna run up behind it, because I assume it's facing away from me if um, I had to approach it. I mean, then you disturbed the zombies, so like, I, I, oh, I, I they put have been focused on you. Okay, I'm gonna do a little hop, and I'm gonna, like, slash both of my swords across its goddamn chest. Oh. Do a little hop. It. Eviscerate it into a couple of pieces there? Yeah. Alright, so it's just kind of... Staggers to the, like hold on. Rory, do we do you, with D and D D and D zombies? Do you have to cut off the head? Hold on. So presumably see. not. So how much damage did you do? All right, it doesn't matter. So you right. you cut this thing up enough that it's not getting up anyways. But they're zombies, so maybe they might yeah, have yeah. you might have a little bit of difficulty oh, doing yeah. getting them down. But you're you're high level. You'll probably be fine. High level for zombies, anyways. All right. I think it's... So, after Sean's Gudo, it is Perry's turn. Yeah, mm. Perry's up next. Um, I'm assuming when we walked in here, I had, I'd had put, like, my arrow away, because squeak, cause squeak was cool. So, I guess I'm just gonna, like, grab, like, do that cool flip over the boulder, and probably just, like, have, like, instantly when I hit the ground, have my hand, my short sword, pull it out, and attack one of the, another one of the zombies. There's three, right? Um, there's two now. One's dead. Okay, but so one of them's cool. One of them's cool. Air quotation cool. <laughs> yeah. cool. Since there's nothing to attack for him right now, he's just kind of like sitting there, looking at the ground, just kind of going back and forth, not there's, really sure what to do with himself. Is the other zombie. Well, yeah, it's not his turn yet, though. Yeah, he's, 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 he's just soaking in his newfound purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's one left just staying over there on the other end of the hmm. cave. So you can just take out that. Plus yeah. there's the skeleton up top, too. Yeah, I was just thinking that, but I already said I grabbed my swords. I'm going to... Head strong. Okay. Fuck so, up that zombo. Okay. I'm going to. So roll me yeah. your attack. That is a a plus three. Yeah, you hit. Nice. Okay. So d six. Man, remember that cool flower sword I had? It was like plus three to everything. Go. <laughs> um. Four damage. Yeah, plus three. Okay. All right, so you're just like make a make a deep cut in its stomach that just kind of leaks a thick congealed blood a little bit, but it doesn't seem very phased. Ew. <laughs> this zombie man, it's gross. You goopy boy. Um, by pro. So um, the uh, so Squeak um, drops her torch too. She kind of throws it and um, pulls out a second hand crossbow. Kind of revolver oscillates them a little bit. <laughs> in their hands Fuck. and. Takes both shots at the zombie. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> um, you brought a fucking bird gun. <laughs> okay, two hits. Watch that. out, it's Squeak's gun. So, um, hold on, let me, I gotta make the roll for the zombie now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, plus, let me see what Squeak does. What doesn't Squeak do? <laughs> Okay, so, so um, you, for, from Perry's view, she just like, cuts its stomach open, it's like, rah, doesn't do anything, then two mini bolts enter both of its eyes, and it's <laughs> down. Ooh, <laughs> is it dead? It's dead. Holy shit. Good God. <laughs> okay. I love her. So, Why did she um, not come in the first time? <laughs> she sounds awesome. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> maybe, fuck, maybe if they brought Squeak along, they would have come the back out. Skeleton, it's a skeleton's turn now, by the way. The skeleton mm. is now a little bit busy with the, the spider, and it, like, tosses the arrow side it, was, it had up, ready, like, 
holds the bow in one hand, unsheathes the rusty short sword with its other, and uh, strikes down at Huxley. What's Huxley's AC? AC is 15. Oh, okay. that's, that's a really good spider. I know. All right, that's a hit. Oh, oh. uh-oh. So, that is four piercing damage on Huxley's oh, part. Buddy. Huxley okay? Huxley's okay. Okay, good. That's only like... I, if Art dies, I'm like, oh, whatever Huxley dies, I'm gonna like... Okay, so... <laughs> die myself. So, the zombie... It's the zo- It's your zombie's turn, so... What does he do? You, I mean, you didn't... De- you designated the zombies, so... It got, I don't care... Does it really... It just, I guess it'll, it, needs, it, it would default back to the skeleton after the zombies. Yeah, it needs to make a... So, the skeleton... Wait, does it have to make another save? Wait, Jess, no. can I like give you an idea? We could take down the skeleton and just have the zombie hang out with us for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. So, the no, skeleton, no, no, no. anyways, the skeleton the is going zombie, to... My zombie is going to try his best and get yeah, the skeleton. So he, he, um, oh, let's make a climbing check for the zombie. Yeah. Let's get up the wall. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Steve. <laughs> All right. Um, so, he just kind of, like... Tries to scale it a little bit. He's shaky. His left hand falls off. He falls down on his bum. And he only got up like a foot. And he's like, oh. Picks up his hand and like stuffs it back on. Just kind of wallows in self pity. He, he didn't get up. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, after the zombies, back to, uh, back to art. Okay, having watched my zombie fail, I'm gonna pull out my rape here. Oh, wait, wait, no. you have to move first. What are you, oh, yeah. doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna go up to the zombie. Oh no, you're gonna put him out of his misery? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm gonna give make this as if he is... What's a good... Prone? Mm. He's sitting there wallowing. <laughs> Wallow in self pity. So I'll just give you advantage, because a lot of th- like stat effects do that, since he's really not paying attention to you or anything. So, get advantage on your attack roll. So, 21, I feel like, hits yeah, anyway. Yeah. You could crit. Roll again. <laughs> ah, it's 22. Oh, I got him. Uh, he takes four... What do I add to damage? Your, um... Strength? Dex. Or dexterity. It's not, there's a finesse he, weapon, so it's dexterity. He takes eight damage. Okay, tell me... Tell me how you do this to Steve. <laughs> in my mind, in my mind, I have dubbed him Steve. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm his... attached, even if you're not. I'm just gonna take his head off. With your rapier? Is that really sharp? I mean, they're like, like bladed. Yeah. Why don't you just like stab him to the mouth and it comes to the back of his head? That's... Yes. I, just... I mean, that's not gonna kill him, is it? Is it? Is it? But yeah. Anyways, just <laughs> chop off his head. I'm, I'm just gonna. <laughs> so you chop it off. Roll head rolls down at your feet. The crown dissipates. He's uh. He's done. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, we're in peace. So peace is Grufford. Um, I assume Huxley's going. Yeah. So Since Huxley's in the melee right now. Yeah. <laughs> Huxley's doing more than any of us. <laughs> uh, Huxley you. is just gonna make another bite attack. Um. On the skeleton. Also, yeah, I can't do anything else. Can you poison the skeleton? Presumably not. <laughs> No, no, both of them were immune to being poisoned. Zombies and skeletons. Yeah, and also for reference, Roy, because I think skeletons have resistance to piercing damage. They do have... They? Yes, they do. Um, do they? I there, mean, maybe. There's no resistance, there's only a vulnerability to bludgeoning. Oh, well, okay. Which is weird. That works for me, because uh, bite's piercing. Uh, so I'll just make my attack here of 14. Yeah, you hit that, hit him, you hit him. Yes! And that's going to be... Uh, 1d6 plus 3. Um, so 4. And then a d8 poison damage. Oh, um, wait, wait. Oh, can't be they're poison. Immune, they're immune to poison damage. Right, so just... So the... just, uh, you take a little chomp into the leg bone. Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> Love that crunch. Okay, now it's your turn. Huxley says now that I... in perfect English. <laughs> oh, right. It's, I have a real turn. Yeah, you're, you're not just a spider. <laughs> you're, you're a real boy. Uh... I think maybe right now I should just stash a short sword and try to climb up. So wall. you're running the 20 feet up there and... Okay, make me a little climbing check. Okay. That's... Climby, climby. Uh, plus three is 14. Yeah, okay. So you climb up there. They're a little bit back so you don't provoke uh, an opportunity attack right now from uh, getting in near the skeleton. 
Okay. Because you said that are like you're five feet away, ten yeah. feet away. Kinda. And I'm just gonna make a short sword attack. So you make it go in there, short sword. For a non-natural twenty. Okay. So uh, you get for seven damage. Uh, okay. How do you get? How does this go down? How does the death go? Uh, I'll just you know scatter his bones with one whoosh downward slash. All right. So yeah, he falls apart. It just the skeleton they just crumble down into the a cartoon little pile. And, fall apart and that's your first <laughs> fight dealt with. Right. Wow. So, um, I pet Bean Boy. <laughs> Did good, bud. Okay, so I mean, well, we, I won't be doing experience in this. I'll just like level you up when I see fit. So, uh, yeah, that's your first fight done. Do you want to take, oh, take a little break here? Take a little break here, yeah, because it's been like perfectly an hour. Wow. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. cool. We'll be back in a second. See ya.